So my hunting buddies and I needed a good way to haul our coolers around when we go on our various hunting trips. So instead of purchasing something, we decided to come up with this easy, simple design for a cargo carrier to use to haul our coolers around. So we came up with a simple design that's just made of angle iron, square tubing, and some expanded metal. So I already got all my pieces all cut out, ready to go. So what I have laid out here is the base. I got some clamps holding down flat, and then I got some squares holding it square all together. I'll get all this tacked up. I'm not gonna put any tacks on the inside because I'm gonna have some expanded metal sitting down inside of it. Uh, once it's all tacked up, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more braces to it to stiffen it up a little bit. I will then add the expanded metal, and then once it's all complete, I'll go through and weld it solid. So for today's welding, we're gonna be using a C25 gas, which is 75% argon and 25% CO2. So I'll come over to the machine here, and I'll set my process select knob to the C25 position. We are using an 030 solid wire, so I'll set it for 030 wire, and this angle iron that we're welding on is eighth inch thick, so I'll set the voltage for eighth inch material. So in every corner, I got one of these magnetic squares to keep in the corner square. I went through and I put a tack, two tacks on the end. What I'm gonna do now is now that all four corners are, have two tacks on them, I'm gonna go back to each corner, remove the square, and put an extra tack down in the center. I don't wanna put too much there because we're gonna have expanded metal sitting down in there, but I want that extra tack just to be safe than sorry. So now that my base is all tacked together, I went ahead and laid out my two snifter bars. I just laid them out evenly from one another. I then added my center tube, but before I added my center tube, I wanted to make sure I drilled my hole for the pin that's gonna connect the carrier to the receiver of the vehicle. Now that everything's all cut out and laid out, I have it laid in place with some magnets, and then I will tack weld it into position. For the floor of the cargo carrier, I'm gonna use a piece of expanded metal. This is a piece that I just had lying around the shop. It's just a little bit too long, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a plasma cutter to cut it to length. So now that the expanded metal is cut, the last step is to set the expanded metal into the cargo carrier itself. I have it sitting in position, and to attach the two, I'm gonna perform several small tack welds. When I do the tack welds, I'm going to make sure that I bounce around a lot to distribute the heat evenly. Also, while I'm tacking it together, I'm going to make sure that I'm holding the mesh down in order to keep it flat. So now that I have the expanded metal welded into the cargo carrier, it is now complete and all set for hunting season. Again, today we welded this with the brand new Millermatic 211. Some of the features of the new Millermatic 211 is the advanced auto set processes. So instead of just having auto set now for C25, we now have auto set for aluminum with a spool gun, C100 gas, C25, stainless steel, and self-shielded flux core. The machine is an inverter-based machine, which gives it improved art characteristics. It also dramatically reduces the weight of the machine. It's a nice lightweight design. It's easy to throw up on the table or in the back of your truck or whatever you plan on going. Also, the machine has the MVP plug, which allows you to choose between 240 and 120 input power. So for more project ideas and more information about the new Millermatic 211, check out millerwelds.com.